What's going on guys? My name is Caitlin. If you're new, subscribe, comment, like, share, and notifications on. So, um, I am currently eating dinner. I uh, made some salmon. Um, hold on a second because I am using my phone here. Using this drink for my phone holder, so hold on. It's not gonna say. Alright, so now I'm using a mug. <laughs> but I have this like very cool strawberry and cream soda pop that my boyfriend got me yesterday from his work. No, I don't need that. No, guys. Literally, it almost exploded all over my puzzle and I would have been so mad. Okay, well, that's going to have to be waited on. But, I hope everybody has had a good 4th of July. Um, I will... Guys, seriously with this, I can't even open this. I'm thirsty. And I want to open it. Drink that. But it's not letting me. But I'm sure some of you have already seen my video that I posted um, for 4th of July. Um, comment down below what you guys said for 4th of July. I don't know if I said that in that video or not, but uh, comment down below in this video or that video what you guys said. But typically I always do 500 piece puzzles. And so now I am challenging myself to 1,000 pieces. Seasons of Hope. That's what this one is. I got this from my work and I also have another puzzle that I got as well. That's <clears throat> 1,000 pieces. And it is... um full of different colors of flowers. If anybody is interested in seeing me put together a puzzle, no matter what size of pieces it is, I will do it make a video for you or or even if you want me to I, I will go live and it would have to be when I first open up a puzzle and so like I'm already made um, like starting this one the puzzle I just the one I just showed you I'm already starting that one here I've been on it for a couple days now but I'm not going to continue working through the puzzle and you guys are not going to be like, oh, we're like, I thought we were doing this together as a team here and it's going to be the first opening look. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry, fam. Sorry to disappoint. Try this again. Fourth time is term.
you know, on Tuesday when the boss boss of our supervisor came in. Um, and she was there all day helping out, and I was working on. No, I started moving pallets around. It, because we have a group of ki um, people with their job and our coaches coming in, helping on um, just helping out in pricing and like learning the, the department. And so we have had this girl for two weeks. Uh, today was her last day, which I'm very sad about. Um, I wish she could have been hired on the job on the job because I absolutely love her. There's no food over there for you. There's no food for you. I mean, there, well, technically there is, but on the other side of the room. Anyways, I would, um, but I don't know how she would feel about my supervisor. Because I have, most of you guys don't know what I mean when I'm talking about my supervisor. <coughs> But anyways, besides that, um, so the, uh, the boss lady comes in, helps out all day, Tuesday, and after I'm done moving my, all these pallets and this and that, and wrapping up uh, this uh, pallet for tra um, transferring back to the warehouse, that's when the boss lady comes in. And uh, she uh, immediately has everybody stop doing what they're doing and go out to the sales floor and start it off because everybody in our department, especially our closers, quit. And so we're trying, and so the hiring manager is trying to get people to coming in and uh, getting into our department because she just got hired, some um, got did an orientation today for somebody in. The area, I believe. Um, and I know she was working with another lady today for orientation. And, uh, um, I, I don't know if she's a cashier or what, but she's, I don't know where she's at. Uh, but it's a, a guy this, uh, that I saw this morning, then a girl later on in the day when I wanted to go on my break. But anyways, I keep going way off topic here. So the boss lady comes in, has us go straighten up the aisle, and when I was told from the one girl, like it made it seem like the whole entire department had to get done, and so I, um, I walked by the front, I think to put a cart away, no. I think I had a return or something. I don't, I don't remember, but I went to walk towards the front of the store. The front end cap, I started straightening, uh, straightening things up. Then I went around the corner into the 8 feet, started straightening that up. I started to go on the other side of the 8 feet. 
started doing it at that. And that's when the boss lady walks by and she's like, oh, you don't have to do that. You know, she, just mostly the wall with the socks and underwear and the shorts um, with the clothing up for there, that, um, what that we have. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I didn't know. Like, it seemed like I had to do the whole, the whole store to get done. Because I saw the other girl sit in the one aisle uh, um, just pulling things forward. And I'm thinking, like, wait a minute. I thought, the, I thought what? Like, it was confusing. But, so I started, went to the shorts. And I saw, um, started moving things over just to see if, like, if it, um, how long it was going to take me. And the base layer, so we have, uh, like, one bar here all across the eight feet of clothes, or the shorts. Underneath is another layer of shorts. Third layer down, more shorts. And then the base layer, which all hidden behind it and underneath it is more freaking shorts. That got, is, like, stockpiled all back up in there. Like, it seemed like there was a, like, hundred of that. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Um, my dogs are, were barking about some, probably somebody walking by, riding their bike by. And I just missed eating. So, anyway, let's continue my story here. Which, I could have made this a short story and just jump to the, my point. Uh, but I am making this an exclusion of a long story, and uh, I will let you know when I get to that point, where I will, you will know from the title, but anyway, let me move these couple pieces down over so I can put my hand, arms down, alright, so, what seemed like a thousand shorts on the base layer of the eight feet shelf. I'm just losing my mind. Like, I'm probably going to be here for like an hour and a half. Uh, freaking getting this freaking um, hung up. Put the short th pant hangers back on the shorts. And, put, and hang it back on the sink. Uh, but I ended up having to do all of the all three of those things. Anyway. Which, uh, then, when the boss lady walks by, probably, <coughs> oh, man, like, 30 minutes later, and sees that I'm still doing that. How do I have 157 steps? That doesn't make sense. I'm not even walking! Sorry. <laughs> Okay. But anyways, um, so she walks by, checks on me, and she's like, you're still doing that? That's, and, and I'm like, yeah, even, like, the whole other side, bottom, other side is horrible, that bad, too. And she's like, alright, give me a couple, a minute, and I will come and help you. And so it probably took her, like, 20 minutes to even come and come back to help me. And I'm like, what is she doing? Like... Usually when somebody says, like, oh, like, I'll be, I'll help you in a minute, like, I don't think that's gonna take, like, an hour. Because, like, oh, I'll probably already have had it figured out and done by the time his, uh, somebody came to help. But, anyway, but she ended up helping me, which took, uh, um, saved half my time. And, of course, we, like, color organization... Especially with the owner of the company and corporate. Anybody that's higher than me, higher than the boss, likes things, color coordination, and uh, well kept. Which tomorrow when I go in, I have to check the section because um, I don't want boss lady coming in and check it saying that. And that uh, having and it have has to get done again. So after we get done doing that, walk to the back. She gets me working on a palette. That's uh, that I was uh, that I was originally going to finish that day. Um, on Tuesday, 
because I started putting it out on Sunday and I didn't have time to finish it that day. So I finished it. Uh, I finished it Tuesday. Then um, when I got the, I was doing what was on it? Tw at like probably eight cases of cards and two cases of these Play-Dohs. The, I think they're glow in the dark or something. I don't remember. Or no, they were smelly. They were smelly, a smelling kind of Play-Doh. Because I know for the markers, they're smelly markers, which I, of which I absolutely love. And I remember those when I was a kid. Because, um, and this is off topic here, but, oh man. But in school, um, in the, for the library, we had these, like, little... Um, the smelly markers and, uh, construction paper, I believe it was. And we, you, um, had to pick, pick something out. The color and the marker. And I think you, you had to write your name on it or something on the construction paper. And I would always, uh, um, open up the marker and I just would smell it. And I absolutely, some of them I absolutely love. And, uh, like, just growing up, every time I saw that, I'm like, oh, I remember this from when I had to write my name down or something on the, um, this construction paper, when, when, like, when we needed it for the library or something. Because I, I know, I know it was for the library. I, I don't know, I, I forgot how, what, how, what that whole thing was with the, for the library. But I do remember the construction paper and the smelly markers for when something to do with the library at school. But anyways, back to my, um, the story, so. <clears throat> uh, so I got done doing, putting out those cards, doing this Play-Doh. I go over, um, it's all on a U-boat. And if you don't know what it is, it's, like, just shaped as a U. It has, like, it has four wheels, one, like, so, yeah, it's just, like, shaped as a U. Two wheels here, two wheels here, and so it's like, and so I pull, so I'm pull, I pull that over to where I want to put it, and I'm, and I'm thinking, wondering how am I going to get it out, and so as I, as I am doing and putting and doing that and putting out, uh, moving stuff and putting stuff down. I'm, I, like, I'm just thinking, like, my younger self, how, I grew up with this severe anxiety, which, uh, just to, you guys watching my videos, and just hearing me talk, just talk freely. Now what are they barking at? I can't leave them alone for like 25 minutes. And then... Ba, 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 ba. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's another person or what. Uh, but... My younger, but as I'm t speaking freely to you, like, for my younger self, I wouldn't have done this. Like, if somebody said hi to me, like, I'll, I'll just randomly say hi. Hi, guys. And, uh, or, or, I'll, no, let me, I'll say, I'll, Pretend my dog is a person, and that, that my dog could talk. Okay. Um, my mom came home, which I think she's leaving again. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> so I could say hi, Noel. Pretend she's a person. 
and she could just hear, like, I look over, I know well, and I can just sit, sit, sit there, or she could just, or she could just sit there with a straight face, like, Saying nothing. And I could have repeated it. Just in case you didn't hear me. I could say, hi, Noel. This is funny. But also sad at the same time. Because I am pretending to be myself as a kid on what I did have done. And my and pretending that my dog is a person and yeah. But from this if I could just turn even turn to have a conversation. Or, some, I mean, if somebody tried having a conversation with me, they couldn't. Because there's always, would always be that just stare back, no response. And uh, if I was asked a question, I would always say, I don't know. Just vague, I don't know. I never verbally made this kind of communication like how I am doing now. As an adult. <clears throat> Why? Why do you people gotta ruin my video? Yo. Why? What? The, no, go away. Go away. No. Go away. You know, you're just going to stand there and whine. No. Nope. Uh-uh. All these... Distractions, it's not gonna get my video done as I'm still recording here. Each time I had to pause this and wait. But, anyways, I was so, so after when I was moving stuff, moving stuff, and trying to figure out. Making room for these squirt guns, the two pack of squirt guns, I believe that they were. Um, I was just, I was just thinking, like, I never would have done this, as I, as I have said. I have grown and changed and become. The person who used to stare and never say anything and grew, learned, developed, and changed and became a desirable communicative person who I am today and for the past four and a half years now. And I would not change that. I am glad that I am I have done that. Do grow, develop, change, and learn. 
I think I made my point with that. The, the develop, learn, change, and grow, whatever I said. I don't remember what I said now. But I'm glad that I am this communicative person because I would have never been this person if I still never grew out of that shell of the severe anxiety. Oh, maybe if I'm if I'm to keep doing this, that's why it's doing that with those steps. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> so, but anyways, after I got done doing that, I worked on these inflatables, and I got those out. And after that. I believe it was time to go home. Jeez, what are they going on about? You know. Maybe I should do some skits on my channel. I don't know. Do stupid belt. Stupid belt. Oh, I left my phone case at work. Not my phone case, the phone clip. It's to my old phone. I'll get it tomorrow. If I remember. I was gonna get it today, but I forgot it at work. So, I'll get it tomorrow for, uh, when I remember. I grabbed the wrong phone clip this morning because I was in a rush to get out of get to work because I was supposed to start at 9 o'clock and I woke up at 9 o'clock. And I didn't get to work until like 10 o'clock. And so, yeah. At least I made it to work. But now we're late. But I pulled off a six hour shift. <laughs> and, uh, like, the last half hour I had to stress. Because, like, the boss lady wants underwear out. Put out. And I'm, like, looking, thinking, like, um, there's no way impossible that's gonna go out. Because she orders too freaking much. I'm just saying. Uh, but anyways, I don't know if I made a point with this video. I know I just started rambling on and off. But I am glad. My, I think my younger self would be proud of me and who I have become today. Because, um, if I still see that quiet little girl, I want to get far to where I am at today. And I am glad that I have, that I am how I am today, because I wouldn't have been able to do this with you guys on YouTube. But I am going to go work on my puzzle some more. And I will catch you all in the next one. I'll see you all later. And I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, and notifications on. I'll see you all later.